Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nigel and this is Noah, my brother-in-law. You've not seen him on the channel, but Noah is uh, part of our team. He helps us build the batteries and, and he's involved with what we're doing here at Offgrid. And so uh, in this video, we're gonna be do running some tests on this battery. So this is one of our batteries uh, that we sell on our website. It's the OPS 280. So it's a 280 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. And we assemble these here at our workshop in the UK. Um, so we buy all of the com components in bulk, we ship them over from, from China, and then uh, we do all of the assemblies here. And so one of the things we do periodically is just sort of uh, safety checks, uh, general uh, monitoring and, and, and tests and things like that. Um, we have a fairly good process in terms of keeping everything uh, standard and make sure that the batteries are consistent and, and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but we do like to do various checks and, and tests from time to time. Sometimes uh, that can also be because, for, for example, some of the components uh, change from time to time in terms of who we get them from. Uh, and, and it's more just the small peripheral components like uh, the cable that we use for the red uh, wire going to the battery lid. Um, sometimes the suppliers that we get those from, uh, they change from time to time just in terms of availability and all sorts of things like that. So obviously it's not a major issue. You're not necessarily super concerned about uh, those. And, and generally speaking, the standard and quality is pretty good, but we do like to do these sort of tests from time to time. So one of the things we're going to be doing now is just a temperature test to see how the battery performs under a heavy load. So I'll talk you through what we have here, but essentially we've got the OPS 280 battery here. It's got 150 amp hour DALI BMS. It's all wired and connected. The battery has been built. It's been top balanced, all that sort of stuff. And then what we've done is got eight, uh, sorry, six different uh, uh, thermometers here. And they're these little digital thermometers. I'll put it here so that you can hopefully see. Uh... And so where we've positioned them is we've got uh, two thermometers on the BMS side. So one is on the actual wire uh, coming off the BMS, um, the black one there. The other uh, negative one is on the actual outer negative terminal. So this is the main negative terminal that you take your negative line off. And then on the positive side, we've got one just on the red uh, cable here coming from the outside positive terminal and then one on the actual positive terminal and obviously it's this is not um, this is going to give us a pretty good indication of the temperature of these components so on there and we're also just going to monitor it with a FLIR uh, shortly and then finally I'm just going to flip this back over uh, we have a probe on each of these terminals as well and so they are making contact there and what this is doing now is we've connected the battery up uh, with these two wires back here to our Guyandel 2000 watt inverter uh, and then plugged into the inverter we have a standard household uh, heating fan and so this is a 2000 watt heating fan we probably won't max it out to its maximum capacity we'll probably run it at uh, probably a thousand six hundred watts or thereabouts um, just because if we max it out it'll pretty much be on the limit of the actual um, BMS so yeah let's uh, set this thing running and then we'll monitor these and one of the things we're going to do while we are running it is we are going to leave the lid uh, down not necessarily all the way down but part of it also is we just like to make sure that we do um, some stress testing to ensure that stuff doesn't overheat in this case. Um, we've positioned it and we've tested it quite extensively uh, to ensure that that doesn't happen. And we've used these batteries in a lot of applications where they are very, uh, with under high, very high stress. So um, we've had guys use them for coffee machines, sort of a mobile coffee uh, system out of the back of a car, those sort of things. Um, so we're pretty confident that they uh, are are solid batteries that they won't overheat uh, but we do like to do these tests from time to time so i'm going to turn this inverter on quickly the fan is off so that's on there and then we are going to set this onto the first setting there all right so the fan is going i am just going to get onto the um, DALI BMS app so that I can see what it's drawing from the battery. So we can see here we are drawing 77 amps from the battery 
So we, if we crank this up one more click, it should then, yeah, it's pretty much maxed out the BMS for sure. 155 amps, so as I mentioned earlier, it is a 150 amp hour daily BMS, uh, but sometimes from time to time we just push it right to its limits uh, just to see if it's, uh, if it's good and, and if it can cope with that. Because we've uh, obviously, it's not recommended to run it above the capacity of what the manufacturer states, uh, but it is, uh, we just like to, for our own peace of mind, see is it actually capable of sustaining that type of pressure and that type of draw uh, for an extended period of time uh, just to do some tests. So these cables here coming off the battery I think are 35 mil. Better double check. Yes, they're 35 mil. Um, and they feel fine to touch. And then if we go through and check all of these uh, probes here, we've got 14 degrees, 17 degrees. So this is, let's position them out. So this one here the, is the top, and then this one is on the um, BMS wire, and then this is on the actual terminal, 14 degrees. On the positive side on the actual terminal, we've got nearly 17 degrees. Uh, nearly 18 degrees and then 15 degrees. So looking pretty good on that. Uh, we're going to get set up the flow quickly and then we'll uh, open the lid while it's drawing like this and we'll just see how it looks on the flow and then we'll do this periodically and we'll give you guys updates as it goes. Okay, we've got the flow set up here. So we'll just take you guys through uh, how things are looking. So if we start from this side, so the inverter itself, you can see uh, that's obviously just a reference point for my hand. Um, just to give you an indication of what the temperature is because obviously the lighter it is the hotter it is that sort of thing um, So if we look at the inverter the inverter is heating up a little bit there, uh, but looking fairly normal again comp in, Compared to my hand looking fine. These wires as we can see are uh, Also heating up ever so slightly but and they, they're warm to touch But they're really not excessively warm like I can very comfortably hold them uh, if we actually check what the uh, terminals here, what does this one say, no? Yeah. This one. Uh, that uh, one is 23.9. 23.9. 24. <laughs> so heating up, which is to be expected. We've been going for uh, around about 10 minutes now, or fairly close to it. Um, and again, the terminals themselves are warm to touch, uh, but looking on the floor, they're not crazy. Do you mind just opening that up now? Let's have a look inside. Okay, we'll go back anymore. There we go. So as we can see in here, um, the cells themselves are very cool. No issues there. The bus bars, so the, my finger here, this index finger is on the bus bar. Again, very cool. Can't even feel any different to what it was before, uh, which is to be expected. Uh, again, the red wire, this line here that you can see that I'm pointing at, that's the red wire that goes to the terminal inside the battery, and that is warming up, but again, it's nothing excessive. So looking at the temperature probe on that, it's 35 degrees, and I think those wires are rated at 100, what are they rated at? 100 degrees or something like that, so well within its threshold. So this wire here is uh, currently sitting at uh, 30, just under 35 degrees. This terminal here uh, is 22.5 degrees. Uh, so if I move the flue over, this is the terminal over here. And uh, yeah, you can see it's really not heating up that much at all. Uh, the BMS side, interestingly, the wire going to the actual BMS is cooler than the wire going from the BMS, just looking at the flow and also at the temperature probes. So this one, what does that one say there, No. This one is 22. So 22 on that one, and then this one? Yeah, that's this one, yeah. It is 33.9. 33.9. So the, interestingly, the, the red wire going to the actual lid terminal and the black wire going to the lid terminal from the BMS are pretty much the same temperature, so 35 degrees. Um, so yeah, overall looking, looking pretty good so far. We'll leave it running for another 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll check in again and show everyone uh, where the temperature gets to at that point. Okay, we're about halfway through our test now. So we've been going for probably around 20 minutes. We'll probably run it for about 40 minutes or so. 
and so we'll just run you guys through uh, how it's looking. So looking at the floor here, the actual inverter itself warming up a little bit. You can see these, uh, this, this area here uh, just in the floor is, is fairly warm. It's warm to touch but nothing excessive. Uh, feeling these cables by hand, again uh, warm to touch but nothing uh, excessive. I mean they're nowhere near their maximum temperature capacity. Looking at these actual terminals, which ones are they? Uh, they are 32 degrees and 30. I think it's this oh. one here. <laughs> 30. 33 degrees. Uh, so the actual terminals themselves are a little bit warmer, which is to be expected whenever you have pinch points like that where you've terminated a connection. Uh, inevitably, that will be a little bit of a hot spot, especially depending on on how, what it is. So the size of the bolt, uh, how well it's crimped, how good the connection is, how well the nuts are torqued, all those sort of things will have a uh, will play a, a role in terms of the performance from a temperature perspective. Uh, let's open this up and have a look inside there now. Can you squeeze that back just a touch? Uh, looking in here, the actual, this is the red wire here that I'm holding and uh, again the actual terminal from the underside, uh, both terminals are fairly warm uh, compared to the rest and when I feel them to touch they're warm but nothing excessive again. This terminal here, the little probe on there, that's gone up to 46 degrees. So there's the probe on that there. Um, and again the wire is warm to touch but nothing excessive. On the actual outside uh, terminal on the battery, that's this one here, that is up to 27 degrees. Uh, so it's really not 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 doing too badly at all. Uh, the wire is going to and from the BMS. Uh, the black one is warmer than the blue one, interestingly. Um, and again, the terminal itself, if I scoot this over just a touch, is very light, uh, so it's fairly warm. But again, the actual temperature, according to these probes that we've taped on here, which one is it? That one is 28 degrees, and the black cable here is up to 45 degrees. So this black cable coming off the BMS is actually the hottest part of the setup. But again, it's nothing excessive and nothing that we're concerned about. And we're pretty much halfway through our test now at 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lid back on gently and then we'll leave it running for another 20 minutes and we'll update you guys uh, when we get to the end uh, with how things are looking. Okay, so we have been running for uh, over 45 minutes. I think we're approaching 50 minutes on this test and we're pretty much happy to call it there. Realistically, uh, people that are going to be using these batteries for a high draw requirement, they're not going to run this level of draw for this length of time. Um, this type of battery, uh, as good as it is, it's not really designed to run a big induction cooktop. So, uh, what somebody would be able to run on this battery with a 2000 watt inverter is probably a single plate induction cooktop but realistically uh, you're not really going to be cooking like something where you're going to be running it at its, max it at its maximum capacity for an hour. Uh, most things that you're going to be cooking on there probably you're going to run uh, for 20 minutes or whatever in which case this would have been absolutely fine. So we'll run you through how the temperatures are looking now so if we uh, look at the inverter uh, again fairly warm on this side here but nothing crazy uh, to touch it feels warm but it's it's fine we can touch it perfectly fine um, these wires here are cooling um, they, they're really not that bad uh, according to the flow they sort of 16 20 degrees something like that uh, let's see what are these terminals here which one is it this one all right yeah so the negative terminal probe here is 36 degrees and the positive which is this one here 36 degrees as well they're identical and again to touch they feel fine and we check what the what the fluor says the fluor says 38 39 degrees so pretty close to what that temperature probe says let's open this up now and see what it's like inside there uh, when we open this up looking at it uh, the actual back of the terminals again are fairly warm so they're right up to sort of 50 degrees or thereabouts using the fluor there to check them the red wire that one there um, is uh, feeling pretty good it's like 35 degrees somewhere around that feeling it to touch it feels absolutely fine nothing crazy there according to this uh, it's actually 53 degrees according to that thing 
which is interesting. I must have just missed it with the flare. Let's see if I can get it on there accurately. Difficult to actually get it on to the wire. Yeah, there we go, 54 degrees or thereabouts. So absolutely fine, um, nothing crazy there. On the actual positive terminal here, uh, we have 30, what's that, 32 degrees thereabouts. And yeah, according to the temperature probe, that's it there. Uh, pretty much the same for the negative, so 55, 35 degrees thereabouts. Um, the, again, the black wire coming off the BMS is the uh, hottest part of that. So yeah, overall, um, looking pretty good. Uh, we've been going for now over 50 minutes, and uh, I'm really happy with the performance of that. We've been running it at its absolute maximum, actually slightly over capacity. Um, and uh, yeah, it's performed really well. I'm really happy with how everything's looking. Uh, and obviously putting the case on it is gonna keep the heat in there a little bit. Uh, so yeah, very happy. Hopefully that's been interesting or helpful in some way. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching folks and we will see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.